Okay, welcome to Go Fly Online. My name is Damien Wills, and our student today again is Digby. It's me. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at um, how to determine whether we can legally take off with the current visibility. Yep. Now, in Australia, below 10,000 feet for visual flying, we need outside of controlled airspace, we need a, a uh, visibility of 5 kilometres or 5,000 metres. Yep. Now, we're going to look at specifically today smoke haze. Now, this is something that affects large areas of Australia, particularly at the moment, the summer months. Uh, also, large parts of America as well often have um, large bushfires. So, we know that we need minimum 5K, so uh, as per the forecast, we can legally take off. But we know that sometimes a fire might start, you know, uh, close by and it's not on the forecast, yep. and all of a sudden the visibility drops below that. So, how do we, how do we determine, first of all, what's 5K? So, good rule of thumb is that while you're driving to the airport, you might know the geographical features on the way, and you might know some, say a mountain to the west might be, say, 10Ks away, if you can see that mountain. We've got visibility on the aerodrome here. I can see uh, Wild Horse Mountain, and I know that's about seven or eight k's from the airport. Yep. So I know we're legal. So we can actually take off and have a good look um, to see whether we, we've got visibility. And we can easily, basically now, we, we can take off and do a circuit if it's bad and come back and land, because I know I've got more than five k's. Uh, another issue with students is they often say, well, how do I know what five k's looks like one, once I'm in the air? So we start them off with, with using a, a feature they know um, and use it as a reference. So, for instance, here at Caloundra, we know the runways are around about 800 metres long. With the overshoot and undershoot areas, they're about a K long, so 1,000 metres. So, yep. I, we just teach students, okay, 5K is five times the length of that runway. So, if you can imagine that runway, the length of it, times it by five, that's how much visibility you need. Yep. Forward visibility would be legal. Yep. That makes it a lot easier for a student to visualise when they've actually got a, an object yep. in mind. Absolutely. Yeah. Alrighty, flaps are on, um, temps and pressures are good, switches are on. Kind of traffic swing 8668 is rolling out, runway 12, kind of. Uh, November Hotel, uh, Cessna 172, November Hotel, Echo, taxiing runways 124. Yeah. We can see it looking out a wing there, we can see the aerodrome, we know that's climbing through a thousand. Yep. About a kilometre long each runway. So we can extrapolate that, that distance from the runway out to see what 5 k's is. And we can see while we are very hazy today, we just get that 5 in. Yeah, we just get 5 to 7. Yeah, I, I would say it's... Yeah, we know Roy's Orchard's about 9 k's. We can quite, we can make out Roy's Orchard. Yeah. See, we only need to make sure that we've got... Um, uh, you know, a big thing with visibility, sometimes you might be flying high, and there's a lot of smoke haze, there's an inversion layer, there's a lot of smoke haze below you. You can see forward yep. five k's, but you don't need down, can't see down. So the other thing is you must be in, you know, make sure you're in, inside of ground and water at all times. We can see today quite clearly. Yep. Uh, I can see houses and, and the ground clearly. So we're, we're definitely legal today. Um, and as you can notice, it does feel a lot more claustrophobic. Yeah, when you're up here when and it's hazy. When it's hazy, yep. you know. Um, and the other big important thing to keep in mind is looking out for other aircraft. Yep. Obviously with the haze, Makes it a harder to spot aircraft. Um, you know, lights don't always work in haze. They sometimes do, but yes, just just being extra paranoid yep. with aircraft, um, particularly white aircraft in the haze, it's into makes it difficult. Yep, yep. So if you were flying along right now, and all of a sudden the visibility started to decrease suddenly. Yep. Uh, what would you do? I'd probably bring the power back and descend um, to whichever side appeared to be more clear at that time. So let, let's. Look, that's not a, okay, it's not the worst idea in the world, but <laughs> let's think of a better idea. You've just come through clean air. Okay. So what would be the most practical thing? If you Probably to go back to the clean air. Good. Yeah. So do a nice rate one turn. Right, okay. Back so the other way. Yeah. Get yeah, back um, to where you where you know is good. Correct. Yeah. Instead of hoping it's good. <laughs> good. It wasn't the worst idea. No, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't yeah. the best idea either. In low, low visibility is always important too. When you're joining the circuit, give yourself plenty of space. Actually, join. Yeah. yeah, because of that, that low visibility, you can't see aircraft as as quickly. You don't want to be tight when there's other aircraft in the circuit. You want to give yourself plenty of space, give you give your eyes time to adjust to find that aircraft. So we're going to come out and make a really wide, long yep. uh, crosswind join, and we can get, 
Yeah, we're going to have a good look at any aircraft that we're taking off. Zero Romeo is overhead rise altitude, maintaining 1,500. Inbound estimate circuit time 5-2. Calandra. Aircraft joining midfield crosswind. Uh, do you have 7788 sighted over Pelican Waters? Hello, Zulu Romeo is now turning downwind behind, I believe, November Hotel Echo. Too high, too fast, bounce balloon, what do you do? Go around. Good. Good. <laughs> it's like the answer, answer to win a million dollars. Is, yeah. <laughs> you don't like the smell of dinner? Go around. <laughs> the sky looks too blue? Go around. <laughs> Well, you can actually, you can go around to